Okay, today is Monday, March 2nd, and I'm here to follow up with the Department of Public Health and the Sheriff, the minions for the Department of Public Health, in regard to my illegal arrest last week. Yes. Hello? Is there someone here I can speak with about my illegal arrest last week, please? It's okay, I'll go in and find out then. Thank you. So, we'll go from here. Apparently, they can't be accountable, but they can certainly break the law when it comes to your rights. Are we learning the games? Are we watching the inhumanity? Hello? Hi. I'm back to speak to somebody about my false arrest last week here. Okay. And, of course, get an appointment with the Department of Public Health and okay. the PIO officer and everything else that wasn't done properly. Would you like to speak to, sir? Uh, Barbara Garcia, the director of public health, for my false illegal arrest last week. I'll call someone for you. Not Barbara Garcia, huh? Not the person in charge. Thank you. Nobody can just walk into 101 Grove and speak to Barbara Garcia. Thank you for your opinion, sir. It's not opinion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Protocol? Yes. You mean the open door policy that they don't have at the Department of Public yes, Health? You, have to. you mean the fact that I'm denied my, you know, access and accommodation to this building? I, don't want to give I know you don't. You just want to give your opinion, which is incorrect. Thank you. you. Thank you. We're calling someone for you. That's wonderful. I'm still recording. It'll still be on YouTube. YouTube. Hey. Um, Hello. Hi. 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 Hello? No. I would like to speak to you about the illegal arrest you had performed on me last week. It's not a legal arrest. Uh, they told me that yeah, I was let me, innocent. Let me, let me explain myself first. First, I asked you you were being detained. I asked you you were going to be cited out for a misdemeanor arrest. You refused to sign a citation. And why? You because said, I wanted to see a judge. judge. And, no and did I see a judge or was I denied my due process rights? Because they told Can me that it was an illegal arrest and I was Can innocent I and I was being released. Can I finish? Well, can I finish? Can I finish? Go ahead. And what did the judge tell you? That I didn't get to see the judge. The charges were dropped because it was an illegal arrest. Who they told the me I was innocent. Who dropped the The charges? sheriff's department, Dan, that had me held there for 24 hours illegally after being the, cavity let searched. Let me see the paperwork so we, I can discuss this to my super, supervisor. Oh, I also need to make an appointment with the Department of Public Health unless you want to re-arrest me so we can go in front of a judge again. You do this every time. Yes, because I'm not going to give not... up looking for my health care rights. But you're asking the Sheriff's Department. Well, well then fine, I'll go up and get it myself. Thank you. If you can't help, I'll go and ask him myself. What's the difficulty? I don't want it. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see how helpful they are in denying me my rights to make an appointment at the Department of Public Health. And following up with the public information officer in regard to the false stuff that I was sent. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. I'm here to make an appointment to follow up on the denial of my public health care, please. Wonderful. Hello. I'm here to make an appointment, please. I am here to make an appointment to speak to somebody about, you know, the denial of my public health care. Hello? 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 Folks, this obviously isn't a real person here. Hello? I'm afforded no dignity in the Department of Public Health. Hello? Hello? Well, as you can tell, folks, this is the Department of Public Health, and this is the dignity, the compassion, the humanity that you're not afforded, in addition to them not providing public health care breaking the law, having you illegally arrested, producing a bogus restraining order. Yes. How many films here on YouTube? 
and it will just continue. Like I said, I was falsely arrested last week. Let's see what they do this week to me. Uh, I'm having a problem with Miss de Guzman. She's not even acknowledging my presence. Oh, I'm sorry. That doesn't help me get the appointment that I need that's required by law. Unless, of course, this isn't the public health department. This is the director of public health office. Mm-hmm. And I've repeatedly come in and I've repeatedly asked for an appointment to discuss, you know, the denials of my health care and repeatedly I've been victimized. Hello. Are you done? Not yet? I haven't gotten an appointment oh, yet. Okay. Make Thank you. Make an appointment. Well, I can get your name and number then. Is there a way to contact you, Mr. No, I want an appointment. I've been in before. I've, you know, I'm not leaving until I get an appointment. What's so difficult about making an appointment so I can come back and speak to somebody? You're not making an appointment for me? And why is that? Okay, okay I guess you're done. They don't, they don't want to make an appointment for you. So you're evading my rights to have my health care by not making an appointment? I want this to be official for you two. Thank you. I'll come back again tomorrow and ask for another appointment. You can do it again and it can go on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. Well, folks, are we learning? Are we watching how much no one cares? How they can break the law with impunity? No appointment to follow up on the denial of my health care at the Department of Public Health after almost three years of constantly breaking the law on video. Can you imagine what I have on paperwork for years prior to that? Oh, don't you just love the corrupt system? So I can't get my health care in San Francisco. Well, they're not making an appointment. That's okay. We'll come in and we'll continue. And they can continue to say the same thing over and over and over again and deny me my ADA rights, you know, my civil rights. Every other right that I have, because what's the consequence? Who enforces medical law here? At the Department of Public Health. What a farce. What an absolute farce. That's okay. I'll just come back some other day and continue to videotape and put it on YouTube so people can see the magnanimity of the people who work here. Just to screw victims over. That's okay, folks. Are we learning the games? Are we watching the inhumanity? Yes, denied public health care. How many laws is that breaking? Well, we'll just continue to film. They have no morality. Why should I worry about doing the right thing? Thank you. Keep watching. I'll be back.